Hi goodies, good morning to all. Welcome back to our computer science class. Today we are going to learn about parts of computers. Are you ready goodies? Shall I start now? Okay, da. come, let's go. Parts of computers. Our body has many parts. For example, eyes, nose, chest, stomach, finger, hand, neck, etc. Computer also has many parts. For example, monitor, keyboard, mouse, microphone, headset, printer, etc. A computer has four important parts. CPU, monitor, keyboard and mouse. These are the most important parts of a computer. The monitor, mouse and keyboard are connected to CPU in order to function. All of them together make a computer system. It needs electrical power to run. We can connect a speaker and a printer also with it. CPU This is CPU. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It is called brain of a computer. Just as our brain helps us to remember things, the CPU helps the computer to remember things. Thus it does calculations and stores information. CPU is called brain of a computer. Monitor. This is monitor. Monitor looks like a TV screen. You can see pictures and movies on the monitor. It displays results. It also displays the instructions given by keyboard and mouse on the screen. Monitor is also called as VDU. VDU stands for Visual Display Unit. VDU stands for Visual Display Unit. Keyboard A keyboard has many keys. The number of keys in a keyboard is 104. The keys are used to type or input information such as data, words, numbers, etc. into a computer. The keys with numbers are called number keys. The keys with letters are called the alphabet keys. There are 26 alphabet keys and 10 number keys on the keyboard. There are many more keys on the keyboard which has special function. Mouse This is mouse. A mouse may have two or three buttons. It is always kept on the mouse pad. Mouse is used for selecting or pointing towards the icon display on the screen or monitor a mouse is used for drawing painting and playing games then peripherals of a computers what is peripherals of a computers there are some other ports which are connected to a computer to get other work. There are some other ports which are connected to a computer to get other works. 
These ports are called peripherals of a computer. For example, printer, speakers, scanner, microphone, CD, DVD, pen drive, UPS, web camera. These are some examples for peripherals of computers. Printer a printer transfers the information that you see on a monitor onto a paper. A printer transfers the information that you see on the monitor onto a paper. The printed paper is known as the printout or hard copy. The printed paper is known as the printout or hard copy. There are many styles of printers. Commonly we use three types of printers. Inkjet printer, laser printer and dot matrix printer. A printer is required to get a printout of the typed matter. For example, letters, numbers and pictures on a paper. The text printer on a paper is known as hard copy. Then, scanner. This is scanner. A scanner copies the text and images from paper onto computer. A scanner copies the text and images from paper onto computer. Scanner, it helps in copy the pictures and documents and save it in the computer. Microphone 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 is used for recording different sounds. Microphone is used for recording different sounds. In order to record voices in a computer, microphones are required. There are many styles of microphones. Speakers Speakers let you listen to music and hear sound effects on the computer. Speakers let you listen to music and hear sound effects on the computer. We need speakers to hear recorded sound, stories, music, etc. Speakers can be attached to the computer. Speakers can be attached to the computers. CD CD stands for Compact Disc DVD DVD stands for Digital Versatile Disc Pen Drive we can store information in a CD, DVD, pen drive. Pen drive. It is in small in size and easy to carry. CD, DVD, pen drive. We can store information. Then, UPS UPS stands for an interrupted power supply. It keeps the computer working for some time when the electricity goes off. This way it gives you time to finish your work on a computer properly. Then web 
camera. This is the camera. It is a small device. You can capture the photos or images and save it in the computer. Web camera. It is a small device. You can capture the photos or images and save it in the computer. It also used for video chatting. Then headphones. You can also listen to music using the headphones. These days headphones come with an attached microphone. Okay goodies. Stay at home and stay safe. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.